This is Hawarti Secondary School, located in Makali, capital of Tigray. Currently, the school is repurposed to shelter more than 3,000 IDPs from Western Tigray. According to Ashanafi Barha, chairperson of the IDPs, those people are still suffering from lack of basics. Here in Howell Secondary School, there are more than 3,000 IDPs and all of them are displaced from western part of Tigray. We have been sheltered in the school for about two years now and we have so far led a devastating lifestyle as we couldn't able to get enough aid. When we first came here, the residents of Mughal used to help us, but as the siege continued to tighten, everyone has become helpless. As a result, the situation in the IDP camp has gone from bad to worse. Kandahafti Abba, an IDP of Western Tigray, who is currently sheltered in Hawalti Secondary School, Makale, also says that she is leading a life of misery as she is currently separated from her children who fled to Sudan. I'm still surviving, but I'm leading a miserable life. I'm suffering here from hunger and lack of medicine on top of having to always miss my children who fled to Sudan. Three of my sons left to Sudan, and the youngest is 13. I only managed to know the whereabouts of my children with the help of Red Cross. But ever since, I have no idea how they've been holding up due to the communication blackout in Tigray. Dunke Abraha is also displaced from Kafta Homara, Western Tigray. And she says lack of medicine and sanitary materials has made life difficult for her in the IDP camp. <laughs> We have been suffering since we came here as we couldn't be able to get enough food and medication. My condition doesn't allow me to eat whatever I can get. It forces me to be selective of my diet. So I've been through a lot of pain and my body weight is declining each day to a point where I faint almost every day. On top of this, there is lack of sanitary material in the IDP camp. And that has been one major challenge for me as I'm unable to control my defecation and urine forcing me to change clothes much more frequently. The IDPs also call for the immediate implementation of the signed peace agreement between the governments of Ethiopia and Tigray, so they can peacefully return to their hometown and meet up with their missing family members. I'm very delighted that both governments have reached such an agreement and making a decisive discussion. This is what I've been looking forward to, seeing many people suffer and die due to the bloody war each day. We have a bright hope now, believing that we will benefit greatly from the peace agreement. So we hope to work and live in peace, and most of all, to meet with our children who fled to Sudan. And we also hope to send our children to school peacefully, so they can learn important things to rebuild their country.